what's up raft gang welcome back to another reaction now this is going to be on a new series of god of war ragnarok a behind the scenes series of this game so i think they're coming out with maybe three to four uh different uh different behind the scenes looks so i'm happy to do these because now i had my reservations about god of war ragnarok when we first saw the first teaser trailer of it i'm like this looks exactly like the ps4 version with a couple new moves and a couple new enemies. So I was like, this is like a DLC. And then you go forward ahead and I'm like, okay. Why is why is it why does it look the same? Because well, they have to make it on PS4, so they like dumb down the graphics, and it's gotta blend in all this stuff. Then there's a bunch of delays, right? It's supposed to come out last year, right? This last this last I don't know. That was delayed a few times. I'm like, all right, they're going to polish it up. They're going to make it look better and better. And uh, then another trailer came out, did a reaction to that, and it looked a lot better. I got really excited. And I was like, okay, maybe it doesn't look like a DLC. Maybe that actually is a real standalone fleshed out game. It has a new mechanics and new weapons. It just f flows better and it just moves better. And it looks pretty damn good. So I was like, cool, I'm optimistic. And then, like last week or something, they come out with these new screenshots, and they looked absolutely glorious. I mean, top-notch visuals, the benchmark, I think, of the PS5, even though it's on PS4, benchmark PS5. And they announced, like, there's four different graphic settings. You got the graphic mode, which is 4K30, which I'll be using. 4K30 all day. And then there, I think I think there's a 1440, 60, uh, 40, 1440p, 40 frames. And I'm not sure what resolution the 60 frames is, but there's going to be a 60 frames version. And then they're going to have a 120 frames version. Now, how is that going to look? So anyway, that's great options. I wish uh, 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 Arkham Knight, Gotham Knights would have took that route. You know, gave us a few more options, then the game would have probably been received a lot better. But uh, I'm on board. 100% on board with God of War Ragnarok. I can't wait to buy this game. I've already pre-ordered the new controller for god of war uh because my controller is starting to get a little drift if you know what i mean so we'll just put that in the back seat and get a nice new shiny god of war controller that'd be great and i'm going to go with the disc version uh of uh of god of war ragnarok unless the digital version is something mind-blowing and i'm still i still got my eye out for the uh, collector's edition when the one with the uh thor's hammer so we'll see if that comes available best buy hurry up other than that, guys, I'm very excited. And of course, I will be live streaming this game a lot on my channel. So be sure to subscribe and watch and join me on the journey of Kratos and his son. That being said, guys, let's check out the uh, shaping the story. This is the first of the many behind the scenes. So get me excited even more. Let's get it. We're Captured on PS5. Of God of War 2018. How do you... Talk that back. music. How do you deliver something that players Ooh, look at that hair? Ooh. Maybe just as much as God of War 2018. Nice. The pressure was tremendous. Oh, I gotta go for I gotta go to 4K on this. Give me 4K. <clears throat> My name is Ariel Angelotti, and I am the senior producer for Narrative. My name is Richard Gobert. I'm the story lead for God of War Ragnarok. I'm Jody Kupsko, and I'm the supervising dialogue designer. It's my job to shape the story along with our writing team, our narrative director, and game director. A As a producer, to write it's my story. job to help build a team to create that content, um, to own the schedule in realizing that content. I oversee the dialogue production throughout the entire titles. Every line of dialogue that you hear, every human vocalization and oh, that's effort war. and PC. grunt, uh, our team touches. So are men now. Like you? No. We are not men. We are gods. We are more than that. Yeah. The responsibility is far greater. In the story of God of War 2018, we find Kratos seemingly having turned over a new leaf in the Norse lands. He lives a quiet life hidden in the woods with his wife, Faye, and their son, Atreus. And the story starts with them mourning her death. Mm -hmm. And we learn that she made a final request before she passed away. 
She wanted them to spread her ashes from the highest peak in all the nine realms. He's scared of being a bad father, a bad influence, and as a result, it's made him an absent father. His greatest fear is that he's passed that evil that's inside of him onto his son. You are too quick to temper. You are rash, insubordinate, and out of control. This will not stand. You will honor your mother and abandon this path you have chosen. It is not too late. They befriend Freya, who is an exiled Vanir goddess who used to be married to She was a nice ally until they things went Mimir, south. The self-proclaimed smartest man alive, uh -huh. who serves as their guide yeah. and their confidant. And they meet the Holdra brothers, Brock and Sindri, who are yeah. world-class weaponsmiths who end up their main source of upgrades and equipment. Now among the enemies they make are the Aesir gods, whose leader is none other than Odin, someone we never meet in God of War 2018, but who casts a very long and dark shadow over the Nine Realms. There are consequences to killing a god! Why? How do you know? How do you know? Yeah. After many adventures, Kratos and Atreus end up fulfilling Mom's wishes, and over the course of that journey, they find out more about each other and about themselves, and finally find a common ground between them. They become the close family unit that Faye hoped that they would become. In God of War Ragnarok, she is. we fast forward a few years, and little Atreus is now a teen, and they're back to hiding out in their home in the woods in Midgard. During the course of the previous game's events, they were forced to kill Odin's grandchildren, Magni and Modi, the sons of Thor. Thor does a lot of the lion's Ooh, share of Odin's dirty work, and as a consequence, he's a very violent, unstable personality. At the end of the last game, they were also forced to kill Baldr, the son of Odin Baldr. and Freya, and that has its own set of consequences. He was a very powerful chess piece for Odin, one that Odin is incredibly bitter about losing. Mm. Freya has vowed vengeance against them for the killing of her son. Kratos and Atreus didn't want Even though to she kill wanted him, to, they were friends to kill with Freya, mom. but Baldr tried to kill her in front of them, and mm -hmm. Kratos had no other option in the moment but to kill him to save Freya's life, even though it meant losing Freya's friendship. I will parade. Oh, she's mad. Your cold body from every corner of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell. That is my promise. He saved okay. your life. He robbed me of everything. <laughs> oh everything. His death is also foretold to bring about Fimble Winter which is a brutal three-year winter that is then followed by Ragnarok. It's an apocalyptic war between mm. all the Norse gods, the giants, the dwarves, and the elves, and an army of the dead. They're all destined to fight in a battle that basically ends the world. Kratos Jesus. is understandably worried about his son and what it means for him. He looks so you good. get to go on this journey with how Atreus grows into a young adult and how Kratos grows into his next era in his life and really see kind of the parent that he's striving to be, but the person he's striving to be. I find that tale so incredibly relatable. We had started shooting um, you know, plenty of content before the pandemic hit. In there fact, a week before we all went oh, he uh, stands. from home, Portals. we were doing a shoot. I remember being <clears throat> on and off that set, running back to the office and having to talk oh, yeah, to new studio in leadership one. about what mm -hmm. was going down and um, how this was going to impact us moving forward. And those were trying times. For us, it was a very unique challenge because we had to bring in actors and we had to record them. And so we had to look at different ways of adapting our typical motion capture process and dialogue recording process so we can continue production and continue at the quality that we wanted for our players and our fans. We had uh, some actors stand in for other characters, actors who were already, you know, who were like core well, to the one dots of the in scenes, his face. Um, might just be able to play a background character in another scene to be able to avoid a situation where too many people were, were on set on any given day. 
we avoided compromising the story that we were trying to tell as a result of the pandemic and these limitations that we had to deal with. There were no cinematics that we changed. We still have the same characters in them in the final game. We just had to get a bit creative with how we shot the content. Our actor for Atreya, Sonny, is a teenage boy, and his voice changed dramatically throughout the several years on this title. Is that the same actor anyone. that was in the first one? I just want answers. We had to go in and even out that performance, so it sounds like it took place over a short period of time. That that was a unique challenge on this one. Mm -hmm. The prophecies say Fimble Winter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. Whether the Norse saga was going to be a trilogy you. or just two games was something we debated a lot. There were obviously pros and cons for Hello. either approach. So we waited for Corey Barlog to weigh Ooh. in, and he did, and he said, let's do it in two. Oh, there's two wolves. The consequence to that is, how do you wrap up this story in one game and do Ragnarok justice? How do we lead up to that and then have a big moment at oh, the end boy. of the game and wrap up all those loose threads? This game is bigger than what we initially envisioned. There's a lot of important story moments that we needed to cover. There are more characters that we follow the threads of. And ultimately, it ends up feeling big and epic because there is a lot there for people to enjoy. I am very excited for folks to see this final chapter. A lot happens. Uh, we put our characters. So it's the final the ring, chapter. Like that's, there's no new closure, trilogy at all. And we provide answers to a lot of the questions. The first. Man, look at that. Look at this skin Just texture. All of the, the that's new awesome. combat that we're doing and the, mm, cool. the new interactions. Um, there's nice. a, there's cool. a lot of stuff that's happening in this title that I, I think uh, people Combo's are going to have gonna fun be with. Pretty good. We all have our own personal Ragnaroks to deal with, and this story is about how you process that, how you own it, and how you make it a part of yourself and grow from it. I mean, we set some stuff up um, at the end of last game. There's going to be some consequences this game. We're going to see how things play out between Freya and Kratos. We're going to see how the evolution of the family relationship continues. You got Brock and Sindri, the dwarves, who are kind of part of your makeshift family now. And there's going to be some other characters that we introduce that maybe going to disrupt the balance a little bit. I can't wait until players uh, get their hands on the game or are able to experience how the story unfolds for themselves. We have, I think, an incredibly well-rounded game. Very satisfying combat, beautiful Ooh. and rich environments to explore. Oh, yeah. my, my G2 OLED's ready. character art, a lush and moving soundtrack and soundscape. <laughs> it's the work of hundreds of very dedicated artists, and they all have their own stories to tell. There's Thor. Ooh. That'd be fun. Oh yeah. November 9th. Does that say 9th or 11th? That was 11. Why does that say 9? Is it 9? I'll say 11. Even better. Oh man. This game looks amazing. I can't wait. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and see you in the next one. Home theater rules. Don't forget. Fouts, yeah.